Hey everyone, welcome back to my another new video. I hope you all are fit and fine. So today I'm going to fix this motherboard and this is HP Lightbook 845G Knockbook motherboard and this motherboard is completely dead. So now I will try to fix this board. So let's try to fix it. Okay, uh, this is the motherboard part number as you can see here. So so uh, first of all I will check main power rail impedance which is a 12 volt so I set my multimeter in diode mode and I will put this uh, red probe to ground and now I will check one of this capacitor this is a 12 volt filtering capacitor so let's check this so as you can see it's showing 0.373 that means the last line is clear this side is ground so our main power rail it's clear there is no short circuit so now I will plug it in let's see what happened as you can see it's uh, taking 0 0.041 and as you can see here this light is not blinking white or orange connect again there is no response so in this condition I will uh, check some evidence like 3 volt and 5 volt always so I will reset my multimeter in diode range let's check this two coil is uh, this is a 5 volt power rail and this is a 3.3 volt power rail so let's check this as you can see this line also clear there is no short circuit this line also clear so before check others evidence I will uh, check some required voltage 3 volt and 5 volt so set my multimeter in DC mode now it's ground is ground okay as you can see there is no 3 volt and 5 volt so uh, first of all I will check this 3 volt regulator IC some required voltage so let's check under my microscope this is our 3 volt regulator IC so first I will check V in for this IC which is 12 volt as you can see here this pad also uh, 12 port so let's check here so as you can see we have a 12 volt present now I will check LD voltage in this IC 3.3 volt it's uh, pin number uh, 6 so let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 this one so there is no LD voltage present so let's check the evidence in this LDO pin. Set my multimeter in that range again. Let's check this pin number 6 here. So as you can see, this line is clear. There is no short circuit. So in this condition, I don't need to check anything. I just I will replace this 3.3 volt regulator IC and then I will check others so let's remove this IC first Okay, this one. This is with my donor board.
we can see, we will place this down. Nice and smooth. Okay, we place this down. Now I will check problem solve or not. So let's plug it in. And as you can see, let's let me show you again. As soon as I plugged in, the white and orange LED is blinking. That means our 3 volt and 5 volt it's ready and it's turning on. So let's let me check. Pin number 6 LDO as you can see 3.3 volt, 3.3 volt always, 5 volt also on it. So it's done. Let's check the display. First starting on. It will restart. I hope everything will be fine. Let's restart again. And it's done. So I will spill over. Okay, as you can see, it's done. So it's successfully fixed this motherboard. It was very easy. And uh, I show you how to confirm 3 volt uh, regulator IC is bad. You need to check only. V in voltage and then LDO. If there is present V in voltage present or LDO voltage pose present but always voltage not present then you can check enable voltage. It should be pin number 11. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video.